We're gonna eat all of these cereals. We're gonna rank them on three main categories, okay? One. Pure dry, no no milk, no nothing. Just pure dry, see how they taste. Two, sort of standard, put in a little bit of milk with it, eat it, sort of what you would expect. Three, when you kind of leave the milk in there for a bit and you know, it like gets a little, little bit absorbed, a little bit, uh, maybe not quite soggy, but absorbed in because that definitely affects it. So those are the three different criterias and we're gonna rate each cereal for all three. One other thing I would like to preface by saying, I haven't really eaten, uh, you know, bad junk, sugary cereal in somewhere between five to eight years. So that plus generally getting older means that uh, this might be a little difficult for me to deal with all of this sugar, but I will, I will do my best. Let's start off with a nice Christmas one, shall we? We have Elf on a Shelf, Vanilla candy cane cookie with marshmallows yeah that's a that's a lot it's a lot to put into words there also important to note the official cereal of the north pole so you know official i'm not sure who gets to decide that but uh yeah first things first put a little bit of cereal into this cup wow where are the mush marshmallows not mushrooms I think the marshmallows have all like fallen to the bottom or, or the way down there. Cause I just poured out a bunch and no, no marshmallows to be seen. Perhaps the ratio of marshmallows is a lot lower than one would like, even compared to something like Lucky Charms. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now is that the, the marshmallow ratio is incredibly uh, not good. But okay, so small. They're t they're not only is there not many of them, they're tiny compared to the actual, you know, cereal piece here. Let's get a little sniff first. Um, okay, so a bit of vanilla stuff going on there. Cracking open the milk. Well, all right, that's fine. Let's do the dry test. Kind of has, definitely has some vanilla. I'm not really feeling the candy cane flavor. I'm not, I'm not noticing the candy cane flavor. Definitely sugary though. One tiny ass marshmallow. Oh, okay. The marshmallow is where the candy cane flavor is. And actually it's pretty good. Like it actually just tastes like candy cane. Wow, this has been soaking. So let me get a nice spoonful. With the milk, it was certainly much more dull of a flavor, but now I'm gonna put in with a splash of milk here, the, the not heavy soaked, and see how that goes. Here's my assessment. When it's, when it's dry, when it's very soggy, it's not as good. In general, I don't think it's that great. Um, the vanilla flavor is fine. Um, it's a weird flavor anyway with the candy cane stuff, but the candy cane flavor is solely located in the marshmallow. It makes it so that it's very much more vanilla and then you randomly get this like peppermint candy cane thing and it's kind of like, all right, well, sure, I guess. Um, not exactly sure what's going on here. It's also just kind of a weird flavor in my opinion. So I'm thinking, thinking I'm not gonna rate it that high. So let's see, dry, let's go. I'll probably adjust these as we go on. I'm not a big fan of the candy cane flavor anyway, but that's the only thing that's actually interesting about it. So I'm gonna go with four for dry, four for milked, and two for soggy. Uh, would not really recommend overall. If you like peppermint flavor and you're like a peppermint patty kind of guy or girl, if you like our super peppermint candy cane person, sure, give it a shot. Let's move on to the next Christmas cereal. Yes, this is about the movie. So here's the deal, sweetened corn puffs, holiday tree marshmallows. A little bit disappointed with the, uh, it's just kind of bland, right? Just to start off. The interesting thing here is though, flavored with maple syrup and other natural flavors. Ooh. Oh, that is definitely maple syrupy. I'm a fan. It does make me think of Waffle Crisp too. So uh, that's a good start in my in my eyes. That's a good start. 
I feel like everyone, if you were a cereal eater as a child, you had different phases of the of the cereal that you ate. I, I ate honeycomb cereal for a while, uh, honey nut Cheerios, I had a Lucky Charms phase, a Frosted Flakes phase, uh, Frosted Flakes, and then I like mixed it with corn flakes so it wouldn't feel as unhealthy, um, Waffle Crisp, Golden Grahams phase, Cinnamon Toast Crunch phase, yeah, I, I, I mean... I, I, I had a decent amount of cereal back in the day. Elf cereal. Here we go. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm already a big fan of how this smells. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we got, we got a couple corn puffs and a marshmallow. I'm a fan. Uh, granted, the marshmallows are marshmallows. There's nothing really special there. Let's get a couple spoons in here. Big fan of this, this maple kind of flavor. I think the marshmallows don't really do anything for me. Um, they're just marshmallows. If the marshmallows were removed, it wouldn't really bother me. But I also don't think they detract and make it, uh, you know, substantially worse with them in there. So I'm going to jump up kind of high here. I'm going to go dry. Almost all of my dry ratings will be lower than at least the regular milk because I'm just I'm not really someone that eats cereal dry if I were to eat cereal so I'm gonna go with like a six dry and eight or almost a nine maybe even a nine let's just start let's just say nine and see and then right now let's go with the soggy they've definitely got extra absorbed it definitely weakens the flavor a little bit but it still has enough crunch and soggy absorbed it's still good um, but I think just the light milking is the best, especially if you want the crunch. But I'm still going to go with like a 7.5 or something. Holiday cereal number three. Sugar cookie toast crunch is a returning flavor. I don't recall how long. At least it was here last year. But I never had it because I wasn't doing cereal. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty interested. I definitely had myself a uh, cinnamon toast crunch phase. I probably still would enjoy cinnamon toast crunch if I had it now. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess it tastes like a sugar cookie. So here's how it here's how it hits. The initial hit is of of the powders, of course. I don't know if it's that strongly sugar cookie tasting. It kind of just tasted like cinnamon toast crunch to me, but that that part. So it's kind of a two phase taste. It's the powders that is like more of the sugar cookie tasting kind of thing. And then once you start, like you get the powders get, you know, dissolved and such, you actually start chewing into the to the square. And then that part is more like the traditional cinnamon toast crunch taste. Um, so it's good. Because Cinnamon Toast Crunch is is also already good. Let me do a couple dry pieces now. I did the dry test. And yeah, that is actually definitely more like a sugar cookie. Start with a three. And then for mixed, a Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like in terms of goodness. I think it would depend on my mood whether I would prefer this over the elf cereal we just had. So I'll give it a nine for now. We'll see. And now that it's been soaking for a bit, let me get a taste here. Obviously very similar to how a regular cinnamon toast crunch would taste when they've kind of been wetted in the milk for a while. Softer. Decent amount of the powder has been absorbed by the milk at this point. I honestly think it's basically, in my eyes, just as good as the elf cereal. Maybe not quite as good when it's soggy compared to the elf cereal. Maybe like a, a seven instead of a seven and a half. If you like cinnamon toast crunch and you see it and you want to try it out, would definitely recommend to try it out. So now we're gonna have a little bit of a palate cleanser. We just had a bunch of sugary cereals in a row. There's plenty more where that came from, but we're gonna mix it up. This is kind of in the never seen it before, but also just straight up wanted to try it category. I eat a lot of peanut butter. I'm a big peanut butter guy. So I'm interested to see how this works. Oh my. Oh man, that is a strong peanut butter smell. Holy moly. I might get a little bit of hate from here, from this, but I don't like Reese's Puffs. I don't like 
candy for cereal, really. Chocolate cereals in general. Not my thing. I don't like chocolate cereals. I also just don't really like chocolate plain as it is, like a Hershey's chocolate bar or something. That's not my deal. I don't I don't really I don't really fudge with chocolate. Get it. Count Chocula, um the the chocolate fruity pebbles, cocoa puffs, you name it. I ain't about it. Peanut butter checks, here we go. It's definitely checks. The peanut butter flavor is not as strong as the smell was it's a very light taste it almost it almost doesn't even get there but it definitely is like not plain checks because it's such a light taste it almost feels like it doesn't like why am i buying this why am i eating this version of checks in the context of what i'm doing at this moment it's not a very strong taste at the same time I don't know if I would want it to be a strong taste. For the milk score, I'm gonna give it a pretty mediocre, like, six. It's edible. It's probably not as insanely healthy as some of these other ones, but I still probably wouldn't eat, like go out of my way to buy it. Let me have a couple dry pieces now, though. I could almost see this being a case where you, you might actually rate this higher than the milk. I could see that being the case. I think that's a rare case. You know what this would be great in? What, like a trail mix, but maybe more with like nuts and, and raisins. I think that would actually be pretty good. I think that actually would be really good. I'm actually gonna rate this higher dry and I'm gonna adjust the milk score. So I'm, I'm gonna go six and then I'm gonna bring this down to a four. And a soggy absorbed flavor now, I imagine this is gonna be kind of trash. I basically would give it the same score, maybe like a point lower, half a point lower. We are gonna go back to marshmallow land. We're actually gonna have a chain of marshmallows in a row here. Fruity pebbles with marshmallow. You know, sweet and rice cereal with marshmallows. It's the same thing as normal, but with marshmallow. Here's my thing, I already never liked Fruity Pebbles. I was a Fruity Pebbles hater from the beginning when I was young. I thought Fruity Pebbles was trash and it was always trash. It was probably one of my least favorite cereals among some of the common cereals that you see. Let's get a sniff. Oh, yeah, so it's definitely, oh my. It's, it's definitely still Fruity Pebbles. Um, it's probably gonna be no surprises here. It's just gonna be Fruity Pebbles, but with marshmallows in it, right? And even just looking at it now, and kind of maybe this is part of why I didn't like it back then, but, I mean, just look at it. It looks like rainbow-colored, like, cat food slash, time, like, so you know, okay, here's a good example. When you have, like, a, a raisin bran, right? When you have raisin bran, and you get to the end of the bag when it's, like, a lot of the pieces are, like, tiny and broken up, and, like, you usually don't want to deal with that, that's what this is completely is this is what that is except you know flavored of rainbow garbage and um all the rainbow flavors here that's 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 what this is there's these tiny annoyingly sized cat food-esque uh broken pieces of raisin bran that's that's what it is okay so let's get some milk in this oh my god This is an overwhelming amount of like things happening in my mouth. What is going on? It is so bad. It is so overwhelming. The amount of like sweetness. And to be honest, right? It's not that creative. It's not, not that creativity matters, but it's like nothing, nothing that you wouldn't expect from the title alone, right? It's fruity pebbles, but there's marshmallows in it. That's it. The dry test here. It's gonna be the same as if I had dry fr Fruity Pebbles, which is equally terrible. Um, I hate Fruity Pebbles. That's really all I can say about this, is I always hated Fruity Pebbles, and I know I'm biased, or whatever you wanna call it, but I'm sorry. Fruity Pebbles are trash. Always have been. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to do the soaked flavor test, so I am going to do it now, but it's slightly more digestible because it's, um, the milk has absorbed maybe some of the sugariness, perhaps. So I'm just gonna go 1.5. And I'm gonna go one for milk and 0.5 for dry. Not a fan. Frosted Flakes with marshmallows. I have to say, I've, I've had good luck opening these bags so far. I haven't had one that's exploded or not. You know, sometimes when you open it, it'll just like rip down the side. No, I've had some clean opens so far. 
So I imagine here that I'm gonna like, that I'm, I'm probably gonna like this, though honestly, I would probably rather just have it without marshmallows, but let's do it anyway. Marshmallows definitely change it, right? Because you're not just having the crunchy flakes. You get this extra sweet burst of marshmallow stuff. Like the flake cereals dry, like why would you do that? It feels, it feels wrong to eat them. Maybe that's just me, but something about like their uneven nature and like you would, they would just like break as you grab them. Dry plus dry marshmallows, not, not a huge fan. I'm going to actually go down to a four. With milk, if you're a marshmallow person and you, you know, Frosted Flakes are okay for you, this boosts it for you. If, if you kind of like, like Frosted Flakes is how they are, you might not like the marshmallow added in. Personally, I would rather just not have them in. So let's put this at like a seven. That seems like a decent spot. So I'm actually just gonna keep it at a seven. I think they're both even at that, at that point. This is the thing with me and cereal. There would be times where maybe I have the, the toast crunch and that was exactly what I wanted. Perfect. But then there's other times I could see myself being like, you know what, Frosted Flakes. And I don't think I'm alone in that that uh, that thought process. Kind of the third back in a row, I figure I do all of these regular cereal, but with marshmallows all together, because they're going to be pretty similar. Fruit Loops with marshmallows. Now with more marshmallows. Free milk, wait. I didn't get free milk. I've never really liked Fruit Loops that much either. Not quite as... I didn't hate them as much as Fruity Pebbles. Like, I would eat them. Like, I would eat these, but I would not eat Fruity Pebbles. But if I had to go with a loop-shaped cereal of this kind of shape, I would go with Apple Jacks all day. But they got that Fruit Loop smell, you know what I'm talking about? It, I feel like I've always noticed it has a per, per, peculiar smell that is just, it just is for Fruit Loops to me. When I smell it, I think Fruit Loops. I don't know how to describe that, but initial taste... Well, there goes the there goes the lid. All right, no, I found it. Um, yeah, it's Fruit Loops, but with marshmallows. No surprise. If I was like ten or twelve years old or something, like when I, like if I was in my Lucky Charms phase, I don't know when that was, but if I was in my Lucky Charms phase, I'd probably be like, wow, these cereals are all better when they have marshmallows in them. But as it stands now, the marshmallows don't do anything for me. They really don't. It's basically just making me feel like why, like, why am I not just having Fruit Loops? Why am I having Fruit Loops with marshmallows? If I wanted my marshmallow cereal, I'd have Lucky Charms. Fruit Loops have always been, like, very, barely serviceable to me. Um, no, that might be harsh. They're serviceable, but still, I've never really, they were never my favorite. If I had to choose between the two circled, like I said, I would go Apple Jacks. That said, I would not want Apple Jacks with marshmallows. And I think that's the same here. I don't really want Fruit Loops with marshmallows. But as the case with the last couple of oh, regular cereal plus marshmallow, if you're a marshmallow fiend, probably ups it for you. For, for my fruit-related cereal, I think I was more of a tricks kid back in the day. You know, tricks are for kids. I was a kid. That's, I don't make the rules, okay? It's, I guess for dry cereal, I would always prefer something like this over a flakes. So I guess in that case, I would go like 4.5, maybe. Maybe that's too high. Milk, I guess I would go straight five. Soggy absorb, kind of like right in the middle. And that's kind of where I feel like Fruit Loops are. I, they're like, I if I had to eat Fruit Loops, I could eat Fruit Loops, but I would pretty much have many other cereals over Fruit Loops. We're actually going into a special flavor town. It is Fruit Loops. <laughs> Except, we go into the beach, baby. It's tropical. Limited a dish. Pineapple, banana, orange, and mango. Some pretty unique flavors that don't really come, uh, you know, to the cereal world too often. Apparently, this was an exclusive in Mexico for a while and has made its first appearance in the United States this year. Ooh, it actually does smell super different. It def it's got like a, maybe like a citrusy kind of smell to it. Four flavors listed here, but 
there's only three colors. Like I said, it smells different and it definitely tastes different from regular Fruit Loops. But I will say, I can taste the orange at times. I can taste the pineapple. It feels like pineapple is maybe the strongest dominant flavor. The mango, you can like kind of taste it blending in with the others. And then b banana, there's like no banana flavor at all. I don't know if I would prefer one over the other. Because I don't really like, I don't really care for regular Fruit Loops that much anyway. Um... I don't think it's necessarily a bad different. I think it's just different different. Probably due to familiarity with the original. I would prefer the original over this. If you like pineapple flavor, you might want to try it out. Honestly, I think I want to almost just give it same scores as regular. Actually, I think I think I prefer it over regular over the Fruit Loops with marshmallow. 5.5 uh 5. Very, again, very in the middle for me. Now, we have Golden Grams. Now, you might be thinking, all right, well, what's different about it? No one noticed. In 2012, Golden Grams changed their formula ever so slightly so that pretty much no one noticed. And that's why this one's called Retro Recipe Honey is back. If you were paying attention, I said 2012. So, for some reason, they're going with like an 80s theme. They're really pushing the retro to, to I think, make people think that it's been gone for a long time. But it really hasn't been. I definitely had a Golden Grams phase, I'm pretty sure, at some point in time. I, I feel like I recall having a Golden Grams phase. The recipe's simple. It's graham cracker and then some honey kind of, you know, flavoring drizzled on top, right? I think I would probably give it a 5.5 maybe. Or eh, maybe not. Let's go with a 5. I think it's a 5. A little lightly milked. It is definitely... Doesn't taste any different. Um, I think it uh, improves the cereal. I'm thinking either 7.5 or 8 for both. I don't know. Um, for now, I think I'll go with 8 for both and see where that lands it. It gives it a 7, which is above sugar to cookie toast crunch, which I don't think is how I truly feel about it, but I think that's because sugar cookie, sugar cookie, I can't say that one. Sugar cookie toast crunch's dry ranking brought its average down by so much. Take a picture for the gram. Like Insta Instagram, but gra Graham Cracker. Okay. All right. All right. Tough crowd. We only have three cereals left to go. Lucky Charms Honey Clovers. Wait, what is this? Is that a new... Did they change the marshmallows in Lucky Charms? Is that a unicorn? Lots of golden and rainbows. And the red balloon. So they changed it with a unicorn. That's weird. Has that been a thing for a while? Did they replace the rainbow a while back and I didn't know about it? Uh, I do unfortunately have a bit of bad news here. <laughs> if you're familiar with traditional Lucky Charms, and if you were closely attentive to them, you would know Lucky Charms is traditionally oat-based pieces for the non-marshmallows. For some unforsaken reason here, these pieces of non-marshmallow stuff are rice-based. I don't know why they did that, and it's going to make it a lot harder to compare to regular Lucky Charms because of that. You crack open a bowl, you pour the milk in, you take your first bite. Well, it's certainly different. It's certainly different. The flavor of it definitely reminds me of something else that I've had before. Um, maybe it's like the honeycomb or the honey nut cereal, something along those lines. It feels like the honey flavor is not actually as strong as it initially was. I think perhaps the sweetness of the marshmallows were tricking me a little bit in my first couple of bites. Because when I did the dry eating, the honey flavor is not very strong. I basically almost don't taste it at all. And then especially comparing, of course, to the Golden Grams I just had. Well played, Marshmallows. You almost got me. I think the Clovers, which is the main difference, of course, here. I don't think they're as good as... as I think I would rather have the regular cereal part of, of regular Lucky Charms over, 
over the honey, honey flavor here. The oat based feels like it blends better with the marshmallows a little bit, but I'll, I'll give it a four to start. For milked, I'll give it like a six and a half. Six and a half for the milked and uh, soggy absorbed, kind of the same. Kind of the same for me, maybe even less. Maybe like a 5.5. God damn, this is so much sugar. Cracklin Oat Bran. Cracklin Oat Bran is a cereal that has been around a long time. I myself have never heard of this cereal before until sometime in the past year. This is a cereal that has a large grouping of, of like huge Omega fans that are like, they get like addicted to Cracklin Oat Bran basically. It's been around since 1977-ish, so pretty long. The box, by the way, is tiny compared to all of the other cereals. Uh, it seems like Kellogg's kind of like throws Cracklin' Oat Brown under the bus, never really talks about it, never really markets it, just kind of like, eh, we don't want to talk about Cracklin' Oat Brown. Ooh, I like how it smells. <laughs> Have you ever had like an oatmeal raisin cookie, but like a good one that smells good? It's kind of what this smells like. Again, I could see this being put in to like a trail mix or a Chex mix type of thing. The cinnamon is actually quite strong. It's so different from everything else today. But it's still good. I am going to go with dry. I'm going to give it a six. I could even see it being better. I can see why there is a special contingent of Cracklin Oat Bran addicts out there. I feel like this is at least an eight. I think I'm going to go eight and then 8.5. 8.5. 8 on the milked, 8.5 on the soggy absorbed. I think it's a little bit better when it's soggy absorbed. But honestly, they're both pretty much 8.5. But I, I, I did 8 8.5 so that the average would end up as a 7.5 because I wanted it to be. I liked that number choice. We've made it. <sighs> if this cereal never came out, none of this would have even happened. This thing is the only reason I went on this cereal adventure in the first place. Uh, over a month ago, November 14th, the first real images of this Pokemon cereal were brought into the world. And ever since then, I knew I needed to try it. Searching for this, I had to go on many trips, many adventures. It was honestly a pain in the ass. But on those trips and adventures led me to seeing all of these other unique cereals I've had today. And, and, and that's when I had the idea that there's a grass starter and a fire starter one out there. And I'm probably going to be looking to trade my blues. So if you're out there, if you want to send it to me or something, please. I would like to have a collection of all three with all the three backings. This is called Berry Bolt. It doesn't really say what the flavor of the cereal part is supposed to taste like. It just says naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Like berry, maybe like a Captain Crunch berry type of move. Whoa. That's berry berry. Marshmallows don't do much for me. The cereal also already is very like sweet. It does make me wonder why they chose blue though. Like why they chose this like dark blue, navy blue color with red. Like what was the inspiration there? Why not yellow? You go with like yellow and red for the Pikachu colors, right? I think part of this being last is hurting it. My mouth is like overloaded by all of the sugar sweetness. If you like Oops All Berries for Captain Crunch, probably pretty, pretty sweet, but it also has marshmallows. So I think it's somewhere in the middle of the pack. I was never an Oops All Berries person. I think you need the regular Captain Crunch when you have the berries to really smooth it all out and make it a nice experience. For a dry cereal, I would never have this dry. It'd just be too sweet, too much. 3.5. It basically has both of the things that I wouldn't want about a dry cereal. Somewhere around the six range. Less than Frosted Flakes, but above, say, the Fruit Loops. So six or a 6.5 sounds right to me. Basically, I'm just going to go same score here. I think all of the cereals that add marshmallows are just straight up worse than their original. I think this could even be an eight. I think both of these, these scores for these could be eights but I don't think I'm going to change anything as it is now. Because it's fine. In general, the top five that you have, Elf, Cracklin' Oat, 
Golden Grams, Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch, and Frosted Flakes with Marshmallows. I gotta admit, I did not see this coming. But lo and behold, the Elf Cereal is my winner of this list. It really all comes down to the syrup flavor. And reminding me of Waffle Crisp, which was a cereal I was a big fan of back in the day when I had cereal a lot. Depending on what you're feeling, you could easily choose one of the top five over the other. 